What's up guys, today we're here on Modern Warfare Multiplayer and they just added the Rail MG and today we're gonna be getting at Damascus. Now, as you can see, even from the loading screen here, this is a big gun. I just unlocked it, it's still level one. I have no camo progress on it and we're gonna try to grind every single camo out for it. Now, I haven't seen any gameplay for this weapon yet, so let's go ahead and hop into some shoot the ship and see how it does. All right, really quick, let's check the inspect for this weapon. It looks gigantic, even in your hands. Pretty cool, pretty clean inspect. Now, let's go see how it does Ooh, very slow ads to start i can already feel how slowed down i am just lugging this huge weapon around movement speed is way way down oh come on oh nice kill there i got his dome who else wants some oh apparently me Ooh. okay so i definitely need to get first shot with this thing let's go that's a quick headshot let's hit the dead silence oh i saw him in mid Oh, we already have a camo for it? What? I have like two kills with this thing. Three kills now. I don't even know why I attempted to reload there. I have such a bad COD reloading problem. It's ridiculous. Anyone else want to get teared down? Let's go. Oh, I bet this thing's going to be crazy once we start getting attachments on it because it's basically a one shot kill to the head, but its fire rate starts out real slow. Hold on. Let's see if it speeds up the longer you shoot after I respawn. Okay, let's see if it speeds up. It doesn't look like it. It's just a slow fire rate. Not that much damage. I definitely need to be going for headshots. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, hip fire kind of decent on it. Oh, no. I always die right as the HQ goes live. Ooh, barely survived that. I don't know how I feel about this gun so far. It feels very slow. It doesn't do as much damage as you think it would. And it kind of just gets out TTK'd by a lot of things. Hopefully some attachments on this help it out, but so far it's not looking great. Hey, get down. Oh, come on. Somebody peek me, please. Oh, let's go. Easy double. Oh, can I stop being flashed for like two seconds? Oh, could have had another. Okay, so you have to play extremely, extremely slow with this gun if you want to get some, some kills with it. Really can't be caught sprinting or just not ads and firing with it. There we go. What? Oh, I basically jumped right into a shot. There we go. Yeah, it seems like the only kills I'm getting with this thing are headshots. That's the only way to kill with it. As I say, as I get two kills that are body shots, okay. You know, maybe I just gotta get used to the weapon. It kinda seems like you just hold down on the trigger. Come on, peek me. Oh my, he was up there the whole time. All right, well, let me try this. I'm gonna mount up right here. There's another camo. These camos come easy for this thing, huh? It's been so difficult to get more than one kill at a time with this. It just can't kill fast enough. Oh, are you kidding me? No way. I'm getting just demolished. Oh, here's our opportunity. Come on, let's go. Quick double. Peek me, please. Oh, come on. Quit jumping around. All right, this thing definitely needs some damage buffs. There better be some nice attachments for this thing. Or this is going to be an awful grind. Hey, get off that HQ. Oh. I guess I'll leave you guys alone. All right. Well, I just got slapped around for, for a few minutes there. Uh, we got 22 kills, probably double the deaths. So far, I don't I don't know what to think about this gun. It feels very slow, very sluggish. Uh, not a very fast time to kill. So I'm, I'm really hoping that there's some attachments in here that either up the fire rate, the damage, just something to make this a little better. But with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and grind this all the way to Damascus. If you guys want to catch the grind live, I do stream it over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jmon3y26. So make sure you follow me over there if you want to see me unlock camos live. But I'll see you guys once we get Damascus.
All right, as you guys just saw in that last clip, we did end up getting it Damascus, the, the rail LMG. I still don't even know how to pronounce the name, but we have the new LMG Damascus. Really quick, here's what it looks like with the mastery camos. Here's gold. Gold looks pretty good on it. Uh, it's kind of weird seeing Modern Warfare gold again, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. It, it matches the nuts pretty well. Platinum, I was never a big fan of Platinum. I thought it was kind of bland, but it still is pretty decent. It's just, it looks like duct tape basically. And here is Damascus. Damascus always looks amazing. Got to be one of the best looking mastery camos out there. And just for shits and giggles, here is Obsidian. And here is the build I'm going to be using. It's probably not the greatest, but I think it gets the job done. Well, let's go ahead and hop and shoot the ship and see what it looks like in game. All right, here's what the Rail MG looks like in game with Damascus. It's honestly really, really nice. Damascus always looks great here on Shoot House. The lighting for it is just made to show off these camos. I'm really happy about how it looks. It's amazing coverage. It even covers those bullets. So let's go ahead and see if it plays as good as it looks. Now, I grinded all the challenges for this in hardcore because in core, it didn't feel like it was really up to par. And, you know, I normally just grind everything in hardcore anyways. But, you know, overall opinion of it, it's decent. I don't think it's the best LMG. I actually, I think it's kind of towards the bottom, but LMGs still pack like firepower. I think the, the Bruin definitely beats it. The PKM beats it. I don't know how this thing does in Warzone. I, I, I would think it'd be similar. But I haven't been too impressed with it. It's good in hardcore. But it's really, really slow. You kind of basically have to act like you're a juggernaut with it and just walk around. Ooh, getting knifed. But like I was saying, you do need to kind of act like a juggernaut, not really sprint too much because this ADS speed is awful. Its movement speed is awful. Like you can actually almost physically feel the weight of this gun when you use it. And I've noticed that a lot of these gunfights, I'm getting like out TTK'd by a lot of things. Like it doesn't have a fast enough fire rate or just damage output to really compete with a lot of weapons in here. I definitely don't think it's like a, a overpowered gun or anything, at least not in multiplayer. But it was fun to come back to Modern Warfare, grind some weapons out. I do have some more weapons. I need to get Damascus. I know I've been, I've been saying that every time I come back. But you know, I get caught up with like the new updates and like zombies and stuff like that. But we will be coming back getting some things Damascus. So I think I still have the dual swords to get done. I have one of the shotguns and there's something else I I'm forgetting. But if I had to rate this gun out of 10, I'd probably give it like a five. It's just right there in the middle. And it's kind of fun to use, but also it kind of sucks. So you're, you're kind of going back and forth on it. Uh, it's a lot of fun on shipment, especially in hardcore. You can kind of just close your eyes and spray and just pick up a lot of kills. So that's like the, the most fun aspect of it. It's, it's just definitely not blowing me out of the water. Like this is a pretty average gun. Ooh, give me that. And I think in core, it might just be because I'm not uh, a huge core player. But I don't think I've gotten more than like two, three kills without dying with it. Basically because after every gunfight, you're going to be like this screen gray, bleeding out. Because usually with an LMG, you can kind of just tear through somebody if you're already like aim down and ready at them. But with this, guns catch up so fast and damage that it's almost a toss up if you'll win a, a gunfight if you're aiming right at somebody, like right there. Barely survived that. But I'm glad they're still adding weapons to this game. It's it's refreshing to come back here and, you know, play on some shoot house, play on some shipment every once in a while. What is going on? Why is my throwing knife stuck out? Uh, the hardest challenges to get done for this, I think. Actually, I don't even think there were, really was a hard challenge. The last one we got done was headshots, but that was probably just because I was neglecting aiming for the head. Long shots I thought was going to be difficult. I just started posting up like right here in mid, and then I would hop over here onto this thing if I can make the jump. Come on. There we go. And I was throwing down deployable covers here and just mounting up. Even mounted kills weren't that difficult because I was getting shipment a lot. And all you gotta do is just post up. Anytime you go around a corner or something, just mount down on it. Easily knocking out those challenges. Ooh, and a nice little hip fire double kill there. But what I will say, this gun's hip fire accuracy is awful. It's absurd. And it doesn't really have very many attachments to help with the accuracy, but playing hardcore with it, I got my hip fire kills done in probably like three games. So the grind is definitely not difficult at all. You can knock this out in an afternoon, but definitely not going to be the LMG I'm running to to use. But who knows? It could be insane in Warzone. Sometimes guns just suck in multiplayer and just absolutely tear ass in Warzone. Ooh, I'm kind of making it look decent right now. Oh, oh, we almost got another one. Dang, so close to feed. Oh, come on. Give me it. Let's go quick. No, almost made it through. Didn't even let me finish saying quick double. Get out of here. Get clapped on. Oh, always a 725 that's got to get me. 
Ooh, get domed. I will say, I don't know if it's a, a thing with every gun in this game or if it's this LMG is just better at it, but headshots are very important for it. Is it basically a one shot kill to the head? Maybe two. But the, the comparison between a headshot to the body shot is extreme. It probably takes about... I don't even know how to count that many shots. So let's just say like seven to 15 body shots to kill and only like one to three headshots to kill that way. Like it, it's such a, a, a stark difference when like lighting up somebody in the torso to the head. It, I mean, that's pretty obvious, but I feel like this gun, you need to headshot with it. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, easy triple. Let's go. Spray them all down. That's the first time I've done that with this. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's a little better than I'm making it out to be. And this thing sounds like a sniper when you shoot it. You do this. It sounds like a 50 cal. Like it's a it's a satisfying weapon in terms of like, you know, looks and sound. I really think they always do like weapon sound in this game very well. And obviously this engine just looks good. But yeah, uh, that's my review of the gun. We went 34 and whatever, probably like 30. That's all right. I'll give it that. It's all right. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.